Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Nurlan. And in the last video, we were talking about using the hair light in different positions. And after we got those shots, I thought to myself, you know, it would probably be nice with a really nice dark background. Sometimes it's good to match the background with the skin tone. Like if you have somebody with really warm skin, you could use warm backgrounds or like a white background with a really pale person like me. Or a darker background with somebody with darker skin can really help make the image pop. It'll completely change the way the image looks. So we actually left the light the exact same way. And we'll show you, I guess, uh, one of the images from the last video too to ma match with this. And you'll see just literally dropping in a different background how it changes the image completely. Um, so I'm gonna shoot something like this and we'll see kind of how it works out. But then I also want to do something a little bit more dramatic. So first we're starting off, um, just in case you didn't see the other video, we've got a large six foot scrim gym here. So a big open wash of light coming from one direction. Uh, a reflector over here, which is just a foam core board. And then I've got a Profoto one by three strip bank in the back with a grid on it. That's giving us that nice uh, hair separation light, which is super important here because if we only had our key light, which might've looked good in the first setup, with the black background, we're gonna lose all detail on that side of her. So we definitely want to, actually I'm gonna turn that off and we'll take one like that so we can see what that looks like. Boom, all right, so now this is just with the key light. Yeah, so basically we're losing that part of her hair against the background a bit. Uh, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of light back there, but it's definitely not ideal. Just by throwing on this backlight, uh, which is again, the strip box in the back. So I'm gonna go B, turn that guy on. We're gonna be able to have nice separation back there and really add some drama. It's gonna give shape to that side of, the, side of the face. We'll shoot a few like this. Good, good. Good, nice. So it gives nice contrast. Nice contrast, nice skin tone, everything looks really pretty like this, but I kind of want to mess around a little bit. I like the idea of using that strong backlight as essentially my key. So I'm gonna come in here and I can do it all right from the camera actually. I'm gonna switch to my A, which is this guy, and I'm gonna turn this way down, like three stops underexposed, we'll say. And then I'm gonna take my B light, which is the hair light, and I'm just gonna turn it up a smidge because that's gonna be my, my key light. And we'll help you shoot slightly this way with your face. Good, let's see what that looks like. Wow, yeah, it's a completely different effect. I almost want to go uh, very geometric with this, go almost completely sideways. We're just gonna show off, she has beautiful uh, cheekbones. Good, good. So really just switching the power of the light, essentially making the backlight our key and making the key light our fill or kind of light here, uh, completely changes the scene. So again, quick changes, changing the background, changing just the power of the lights and which one is the key that can really make a difference in your images. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time on set.